Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video I'm looking at the brand new Microsoft Surface Go. I'm a big fan of the Surface line and I was really interested to see how this compares with my Surface Pro 4 that I already have and small devices like the Lenovo Yoga Book. So I've got brand new, uh, came out this week here in the UK, it's been out a little bit longer. I've got the nice Alcatelka type keyboard on there as well. This is the 128 gig SSD, 8 gig of RAM edition. Cheaper version with 64 gig RAM and a 64 gig drive, slightly slower drive. Um, but this one, I'll be looking at this 128 gig version. So right, so before I dive too much into it, I'm going to show you what it looks like and uh, give you some of the specs. So in this video, I'm also going to compare it with my Surface Pro 4, fit for the size of it, and also against something like this yoga book which is actually very similar size and uh, I probably use them for similar roles. So this is the, the Surface, very uh, it's a smaller, a lot smaller than this, 10 inch smaller than the Surface Pro. It's very light and thin, um, slightly thicker I guess than the Lenovo but we'll check that out in a second. Uh, we've got the standard Surface expansion port on there for charging in the Surface dock but we've got USB-C, the first uh, Surface device with the USB-C headphone, uh, we've got the camera on the back and the camera on the front for Windows Hello and we've got the kickstand as well, an SD card on there as well. The kickstand goes all the way from sort of that angle all the way right back so you can almost light flat which is a nice kind of drawing mode which uh, I do like that. So here you can see it alongside a Surface Pro, it's a Surface Pro 4 and Kickstand in, you can see the difference in size there. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Surface Pro 4, I use this for almost everything apart from uh, mixed reality. And um, but I do like the smaller form factors, and this makes a great tablet. You can, you know, it's light, you can hold it in tablet mode. It's a lot easier to use than using the Surface Pro in tablet mode, which can, you know, which is great, it works really well, but does get a little heavy. I do use both devices with the pen and the pen is compatible with, with the Surface Go. A little comparison here with the Yoga Book. The Yoga Book when it came out was a similar price but this is an Atom powered device. The unique thing with this is this sort of flat touch keyboard. I mainly use it in, as a tablet. You can't detach the keyboard and when I fold them both over into flat like that you can see actually the the surface is slightly thinner so this feels incredibly thin and I think it's just the, the design of it but the surface is actually that little bit thinner so and actually it makes a great tablet. Right so to quick, quickly give you some specs 128 gig SSD, 8 gig of RAM, Intel Pentium Go processor 4415Y we'll see how that performs shortly. Mention the ports USB-C, it's got Windows Hello 8 um, megapixel front camera and 8 sorry. it's got a 5 megapixel front camera, 8 me megapixel rear camera Intel graphics 615, 800 by 1200 display and it weighs 512 grams and runs Windows 10 in S mode with 9 hours of battery life so like I said the design of it I really like this nice it's slightly more curvy than the uh, Surface and there's no vents on it like there is on the Surface Pro 4 it's fanless design, so it's silent, and uh, we'll see if we fire up some tabs to see whether it's in the edge, and we'll see if it gets uh, too hot. The screen itself is excellent. It's a really, really nice looking screen. Really sharp, excellent colour reproduction, great uh, picture quality. Really impressed with that, and uh, it's a pleasure to use the screen. That is a really one of the good things about this. Of course, with it being smaller, great for tablet mode, it means you've got a smaller physical area for the keyboard. Um, but I've been using this keyboard, I've done a review that I'm going along with this video on the digitallifestyle.com and I've been typing with this keyboard and I have absolutely no issues typing it. It's a little bit more cramped than using a Surface, as you'd expect, Surface Pro I mean, because there's a big size difference. But the keys actually aren't, aren't that much smaller, it just is a little more, more squashed together. The trackpad is actually the same size, so you, so you, you don't get uh, sacrifice a decent trackpad on there. I do like this material, this type material. There's a, this is the £129 one, I think. There's a cheaper version as well. And of course, you can have it flat like that if you prefer, or you can have it raised up. I do like typing on this, no problems with it at all. Maybe if I was going to write something really long, I might pull out a big device, but 
for doing uh, stuff on the go, this is great. And I guess that's exactly what the surface is designed for. So when we say what this is designed for, well, it is designed taking on the go. It's great for surfing the web, bit internet. You can have multiple tabs. I've got tabs open. I've got. Uh, you can have. I've opened a few tabs. Eight gig RAM means that this is going to keep performing, and uh, there's no slowdown. It's very responsive. Opening applications, everything opens straight away. It's a lot more responsive than the Atom powered Yoga Book that I've got as well. So there's no delays. Windows is very quick to respond, as is Office. So I've got Word open there. Let me open Excel. Let me give open. So let's have a look. Then nice and quick, open straight away. This kind of task this Surface Go is designed for browsing, email, Twitter, um, Word, Excel and so on. What you probably not want to do on here is to uh, edit 4K video or something like that. Even on the, I found the Surface Pro 4 editing videos takes a bit of a while to render so I'll probably avoid doing that on here but what I would be able to do is audio editing on here, picture editing, picture touch up using the Microsoft Photos app, no problem with that and like I said writing on here as well. What I really like about it is it's great I can just use it on the use it as a tablet browsing the web I decided to write a blog post about something just get it up to the keyboard and away it goes. Now it's not a gaming machine um, the Intel 615 integrated graphics is okay um, for the task that you expect to do on this but you wouldn't expect to do any heavy gaming on here said that, I have tried Minecraft and Minecraft does work okay, so I'll load it up and then uh, I can show you what I mean. So here we are, Minecraft. See, it's nice and smooth on Minecraft. I don't think I have any problem at all playing on Minecraft on here. So that, although it's not a gaming machine, it's actually quite good for some casual games like that. I think that works, that works really well. So I've had this running for a couple of minutes now. It's slightly warm there, but uh, it's not hot. And you see I've got this running, I can leave that running. Let me fire up a few uh, tabs in Microsoft Edge. So there I've got Microsoft Edge opening, uh, open, and uh, I can flick around tabs. There I've got Microsoft Edge open. I've still got Minecraft open as well. I can flick around between the tabs in Microsoft Edge. It's just loading up some more stuff. And it's still responsive. I open the store, pretty much straight away. I've also got Excel and Word open, so let me close some of these down now. It's fast. Switching between tabs, no problem at all. Still got Minecraft open, got the Twitter app open. Everything is responding nice and quick. Pick another app, say calculator. It opens as well, no problems at all. So from my experience, it's faster than the Lenovo Yoga Book, the Atom powered device. Not much difference with the Surface Pro. The difference comes, of course, when you're doing tasks like video editing and so on. So that's really, this isn't meant to be the power device for doing all your video editing. It is meant for taking it on the go, using it as a tablet, using it as a Windows 10 laptop, Word, Excel, Office stuff, Office 365 is included. You've got to activate it with an Office 365 account. There's a trial version available. You get your email on there, you get all your social media on there. You've got the USB-C for connecting extra devices up. You've got the SD card for ex extra storage. It's really a really nice device. Perhaps the only thing that may let it down slightly is tablet mode in Windows 10. It's coming for a bit of criticism that it's not really evolved. It works okay for me. I only use it to in tablet mode to launch applications, switch between applications, so I don't have a problem with it. Uh, some of the things, some of the software it does come pre-installed with some stuff. Start, things are starting to creep on. When I remember get, first getting the Surface, it was very limited what was installed on it. Uh, the very first ones, there's a bit more of these extra apps installed on there, the Dot, like the Dolby one, and some of these other photons. Office 365, like I said, some of the drawboard PDF is actually quite a good PDF too. I do like that, so I'm quite happy to see that included. You've got the Surface app for tuning stuff up. I've installed Netflix, and it's actually a good thing, a good device for watching Netflix either uh, on your knee or um, on a tray table on a plane. I mean, that's one good thing about this. It is very compact, so you can easily get it out wherever you 
need to use it. And you can see everything's responsive, switching straight away into out, switching out of tablet mode back into the normal mode. So I've only been using it for a few days, but so far I've been really, really impressed. I do like small factor devices. That's why I've been using Yoga Book. I just found the Yoga Book a little bit sluggish, and I don't find that on this. The uh, I like the Surface Pro 4, and I do use this all the time. That's my this is my main device really. And I guess I'm probably not going to use this as much. Uh, maybe you know, surfing in the evenings, that, that will go to another device than to this one. Uh, so it still supports the pen, so I've got a Surface Pen. It all supports the pen with all the precision that you'd expect with the Surface Pen. It supports the Surface Dial as well. Um, it's an excellent device. You, Which one is right for you? Well, that's dependent on... Um, on your budget to, to go for the 64 gig one or the 128 gig one. This is the perfect device for me. I do like small devices. I carry them around all the time. Uh, if I've got some heavy lifting to do, maybe the Pro 4 would be better, but certainly the replaces my yoga book, which I said get a bit sluggish. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to do another video with this when I've had some time with it, so maybe I'll give it a month or so and do a sort of catch up video and let you know how I've been getting on with it. But uh, my new favourite device, I'm very impressed with it. Oh, somebody did ask me if you can run Windows Mixed Reality in it, and no, you can't. It's not got the, enough spec for that one. So, But, small games, no problem. So thanks for watching this video. Come back onto our YouTube channel, subscribe, go to my Twitter, at isdixon. I'm also on the digitallifestyle.com here, with Windows news and everything else. Thanks for watching this video.